Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 27 of our free course ETAB. In this lecture, we will see the relay coordination using the example and performing the relay coordination on the ETAB software. We will take this example and we will perform the relay coordination using ETAP software. This is a very simple radial uh, network. When you understand a very simple net radial network, then we will move for the complex circuits. First of all, this is our ETAP uh, software and we have uh, made this circuit here. I have already explained you how you can uh, make a circuit on the ETAP software or you can perform a, make a SLD on the ETAP software. This is the grid and this is the distribution transformer 33 by uh, 33 by 11. Okay. I have already uh, taught you how to you can set uh, how to use select the distribution transformer in the ETAP. Then this is not here. Uh, one more uh, this is a line and it is not a generally we are taking the cable but here we have taken the transmission line i will show what how you can set the transmission line in ATM. in previous lectures i have told you how you can uh, select the cable now i want to you in this lecture i want to show you how you can select the transmission line this is the info tab of the when you double click on the transmission line here when you double click on the transmission line here and this is the info page info tab in the info tab you should uh, uh, enter the length of the transmission line what will be the length of the transmission line you can select the here the unit after that you can move to the parameters in the parameters you can go to the conductor library and in the conductor library you can select your frequency 50 or 60 or this metric system or the english system type of conductor that is ACSR or a triple AC and you can select the conductor type here here is the size of the conductor and this uh, column indicates the strands of the conductor and then click OK then go to the configuration page in the configuration page you can see here are different type of configurations and we have selected here the triangular configuration this is the phase A B and C this is the distance between phase A B and BC and CA and this is the height of the transmission conductor transmission conductor from the ground you can select also the horizontal configuration like this or you can select the vertical configuration like this there are different configurations like triangular configuration like parallel configuration different type of configuration as you can select but we have taken here the triangular configuration and you can enter here the distance between the phase to phase distance. I have enters 1070 meters. Oh, it is 107 meter, zero meter, not meters. I will enter 1070, 1.7 meters. Okay. One minute it is, we have to do a little bit correction. Okay. Now I can 1.070. Okay. Uh, then there is a grouping of conductors then this earth thing uh, one one more thing is here i have chosen the number of uh, ground wire zero when you talk about the distribution of 33 kv there is no ground wire but above the 33 kv the about the 33 kv like 220 kv or 400 kv 765 there are one or two ground wires so you can select it accordingly here one or two ground wires whatever the ground wires in your system have you can also select the transposition of the conductors in higher transmission line higher voltage transmission line 765 or 400 220 there is a transposition of the conductors you can select here about this thing this is the impedance then you can enter here the positive sequence impedance and at temperature T1, at temperature T2, in negative sequence impedance, zero sequence impedance, at different temperatures. You can select here the base temperature and base temperature 2. It is minimum temperature and maximum temperature. You can also select here. And then you can also go for the SAG. You can also select uh, enter the data, ice loading, K factor, 
wind and temperature tails and you can calculate the sag of the transmission line here also we have the span is 40 meters i have considered the 40 meters of span that is the ruling span and the sag is for the ruling span is 1.045 so this is the number of strands aluminum strands and this is the number of uh, steel strands this data will come when you select the conductor type in the conductor lab this data will get automatically uh, added in your system here in the sag and tension tab click ok now there is a circuit breaker you can also set the circuit breaker i have also taught you how to select the circuit breaker you can select the here the circuit breaker i will here take it is allowing so i take 15 kv circuit breaker and you can add the other details the rating of the circuit breaker and current and breaking current of the circuit breaker then there is a ct you can select here the ct yeah, you can double click on the ct and go to the rating tab and you can enter the here the, uh, the rating uh, ct ratio primary current and secondary current you can enter here i want to see how you can select the uh, ct there is a you have a, you have a system now you have to select the ct i will give a little bit area idea here how you can select the ct of a system then you can go for the here I, uh, here you can select the designation mother you can select the class of the city 10 p5 or 20 p10 these are different classes of the city production cities i had discussed it already how what the 10 means what the p means and what the 5 means in my youtube channel you can go on my youtube channel and you can read what does the 10 p5 mean and you will get the uh, video on that how what does these letters mean and this is the burden and click ok then you can go for the relay setting in the relay setting this is the input input is uh, coming to himself but you phase terminal and then there is output that is relay that is, suppose the relay one that is relay one you can assign him to which circuit breaker you can uh, want to trip which was circuit breaker this relay will control here i have select suppose uh, it is relay this relay will control the circuit breaker 6 yeah we have uh, selected here high voltage circuit breaker and the circuit breaker number 6 you can assign here the circuit breaker which the relay will control then there is OCR there is over current you can from the library this library you can select the over current relay distance relay differential relay and then you can select the type of the uh, manufacturer abb allen broadly these are different types of uh, manufacturers you can select and then you can select here the relay type or you can go for the protection and in the protection you can say select the feeder and feeder in case of suppose ref you can select okay then we have the two things are coming one is over current uh, curve and another is the instantaneous curve first of all i will not go for the instantaneous uh, curve studies we will go only for the over current this is for uh, over current and here we can select the extreme in uh, curve type i have discussed in the previous lectures about the characteristic curves of the relay you can select here the type of the characteristic this curve i can select here the normal and then click ok similarly you can assign for different other relays relay to relay third and circuit assign their circuit breakers and it is also a trans these are also a transmission lines and i have discussed already how you can select the transmission line and this is the load when we perform the first of all we will perform the load flow analysis and click the load flow analysis oh okay the load flow analysis i have performed but you do not go uh, pay attention to what is the uh, these alerts these are showing these uh, buses are uh, under voltage uh, we are here for discussing the relay coordination not discussing the uh, how we can control the how we can control the power factor or voltage regulation we are not discussing that thing here we are going for here relay coordination so we can click on the star view here and we will first of all we will see if we what does the relay coordination mean the relay coordination here actually means if fault occurs here 
first of all this circuit breaker should be open if this failed by somehow if this circuit breaker fails then this circuit breaker should be open if this fails then this circuit breaker should be open from that means in relay condition we should move protection from fault point towards the upper uh, system whether from downstream to upstream now we will see here what is their condition what uh, we have seen we will insert a fault here and we will see what is the operation okay first the above one is then second six seven and eight here showing this coordination you can see the first one is opening this then this is opening then this is opening the first is this one is opening and then this one is opening you can see see here and then this one is opening that means this is not the coordination that means when fault occurs here first this main circuit breaker will get disconnected all the other transmission get also disconnected but our what we want we should when fault occurs here this circuit breaker should open first then this and then this now we will perform his relay coordination we can go for the star view and this is the star view and here is this is the curves of different uh, relays uh, we can adjust here the operation i will see what is the this relay okay uh, one minute okay this is the relay number okay then we will move this it is we can see here this is relay two and this is relay third uh this is relay one so first of all when fault occurs relay third should operate first so we will bring it down okay one minute or we can take it out above is relay first we can select this and take it here and actually we had i guess you could go to double click here what a normal inverse curve okay i will go to library oh i have not taken protection of the feeder and click ref okay then i will take it normal inverse and okay uh, this is the relay then we can also change this relay uh, library and protection and uh, feeder and ref okay and then we will select the normal inverse and click okay okay now our colors are different i will this is the relay two this is relay three so this will be down this will be down and uh, one minute we can arrange like this we will take this and go down and go a little bit down and get, okay now first of all when we perform we will go for a relay for the relay third will operate then relay two will operate and then relay first will operate now we will see again whether this is uh, set or not we go here and do okay see first one this has opened then this has opened and then this has opened okay again you can see first this one has opened then this one has opened and then this one has opened this is how we have set the relay coordination how we have moved that coordination from first of all it was from top to bottom now it is bottom to top in the next lecture we will uh, enter more details about the relay coordination we can show you more details how you can set the coordination time between the relay one and relay two suppose this relay even operate is how much time after that he wait for this relay to operate after how much time he wait for the second relay to uh, above relay to operate this is the coordination time this is called the coordination time i will show all these things in the next lectures how you can measure this how you can adjust this relay coordination time and if possible i will take also the differential protection of the bus bar or a 
differential production of a transformer we will also discuss these things in the next lecture